This time, we're going to be setting the control bits for an add immediate instruction. Our add immediate instruction wants to take the data from one register, add that to the immediate that's part of our instruction, and then store that result back into a register. So to begin with, for our ALU source, we want to take this immediate field. That comes in as line one for the ALU source multiplexer. So I will set that control signal to one. Since I do want to write the results of my computation back to a register, I will also set the reg write signal to one. For the mem to reg multiplexer, I still want to take the results of my ALU. That's what I want to store to my register. So I'm going to set that multiplexer to zero. Next, I have my register destination multiplexer. Again, that allows me to choose whether I write to the register specified in the RT field or the one specified by the RD field. The add immediate is an I type instruction, so it doesn't have an RD field. It always puts its destination register in the RT field if it needs it. So I will set this multiplexer to zero. Since I don't have a memory read instruction, I will set that control signal to zero. I'm also not writing to memory. I'm not doing a branch. And I'm not doing a jump instruction either. So those are the control signals for an add immediate instruction.